A woman who was caught on camera walking into a Portland home and falling asleep on a child's bed has been arrested again for essentially the same crime. 54-year-old Terry Zinzer is back in jail tonight on several charges, including burglary and harassment. Fox News Chandler Watkins joins us now live. And Chandler, we understand that the woman was set to be in court this afternoon but failed to show up. That's right. According to court documents, Zinzer was behaving erratically and authorities couldn't get her to leave her cell for her arraignment today. The documents go on to state that Zinzer couldn't be interviewed after her most recent arrest and that, quote, the defendant has been in an isolation cell since arrival to the Multnomah County Detention Center. Her erratic, uncooperative behavior has made her difficult to process and a threat to staff safety to deal with. Now, speaking with several people who have had run-ins with Zinzer in the past, they say to them, this just shows that more needs to be done done to help those with mental health problems in our city. Last month, 54 year old Terry Zinzer was seen on camera walking into a northeast Portland home before falling asleep on a child's bed. Homeowner Kelsey Smith says it was a terrifying encounter and hoped the city would do more to address what she calls growing problems in the city. I don't know what the answers are, but I know that what they're doing right now is not working. At the time, Smith said she wanted to press charges, but was told by the Multnomah County DA's office that they'd been dropped. Zinzer was released the next day. The DA's office says they're now reviewing that case. On September 27th, Zinzer was arrested a second time on several charges. Again, the DA dropped the charges and Zinzer was released. Then last Friday. Violated. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's violating to have someone in your space. Stephanie Sabin says she had just gotten home from work and saw someone was asleep in her bed. She first thought it was her daughter, but quickly realized it was a total stranger. She yelled at her to get out before running out of the apartment herself to call 911. And a neighbor and I walked back in and uh, we found her not in my bed, but in my closet, wearing my clothes and sleeping on the floor. They ended up arresting her, but she left wearing my clothes and yeah, it was just it was a traumatic situation. I'm I'm sure for her as well as for us. Saban says this most recent incident involving Zinzer just shows a systemic failure for those with mental health issues. I was just frustrated. I was just frustrated. And then I was sad. Like I I mean, especially later when I found out that she has multiple charges against her. It's sad. Like clearly a woman who needs help and just cycles and cycles and cycles through the system and um Obviously, the system isn't working, and what, what are we going to do about it? According to documents, Zinzer has had several prior arrests in Oregon and Hawaii, but no prior convictions. She is expected to be in court in connection to the most recent case tomorrow morning. From the Mobile Newsroom, Chandler Watkins, Fox 12 Oregon.